If you are wondering which programming language will help to kickstart your journey in robotics, then you are in the right place. In this video, I will be giving you complete information about the top 5 programming languages that you need to learn and what you should learn if you are really serious about robotics. Each of these languages has its strength and weakness and the best one depends on what type of robotics project you want to work on. Whether you are a beginner or an enthusiast who is looking to level up, this video is for you. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and like this video if you want to see more contents like this. As you already know, robot is not just a hardware. A robot needs a brain to function and this brain comes from coding. Programming allows the robot to sense, think and act. Without it, every robot is just a pile of metal and circuits. So if you are dreaming of creating a robot that actually works, learning the right programming language is a must. Now let's check out the top 5 robotics programming languages. The first one on our list is Python one of the most easiest, at the same time one of the most powerful programming languages used in robotics. Python is widely used because of its simplicity and versatility. It's heavily used in robotic simulations, AI and machine learning, making it a top choice for automation and autonomous robots. Plus, with libraries like ROS for robot operating system, OpenCV and TensorFlow, Python makes it super easy to program robots. Not only that, Python is a beginner friendly and lets you test ideas very quickly. It's often the first language used in robotics courses and is perfect for prototyping before moving to more complex systems. So if you are starting your journey in robotics now, Python would be a really smart and easy place to start your journey. Next one on our list is C++. I know most of the people don't like C++ but this is the truth. C++ is actually the backbone of real-time robotic application. Unlike Python, which is easy but a little bit slower, C++ is much faster and gives you much control over the hardware. And that's the reason why it's widely used in robotic movement, real-time systems, and embedded programming. Many parts of ROS or robot operating system are written in C++, making it a must-learn for serious robotics engineers. C++ allows you to access low-level memory and optimize your code for performance, which is crucial in situations where speed and accuracy matter, like for example robotic arms in factories, drones, or surgical robots. But like I told you earlier, it's a little bit harder to learn, but if you master it, you will unlock a whole new level of robotics control. Now, let's talk about Java. Java is great for robotics, especially in large-scale application and AI-driven robots. Since it is platform independent, you can write the code and run it in multiple platforms. Java is also widely used in robotics automation, mobile robotics, and even NASA's Mars rovers. Java comes with a rich ecosystem of tools and frameworks, and it's especially useful when you are building Android-based robots and integrated robots with databases and web services. Its strong object-oriented structure also helps in building modular and scalable robot softwares. Before going to the next language, let me remind you something. Robotics is not just about coding. Coding is just one of the four pillars. What are the rest four? One would be electronics. The second will be mechanics. Third will be control systems. And fourth is the coding. If you are interested in learning electronics from your home free of charge, let me share with you something that might be interesting for you. If you watch our videos, you know we use a tool called Atium for most of our robotics projects to draw our circuits and design our own PCBs. It's easy to create our own PCBs using Atium, and if you are a DIY electronics enthusiast, you are going to love it. An Atium subscription includes something called Atium 365, which lets you design share and manufacture your project everything in one place. You can even collaborate on your circuit with friends and share real-time feedback. So if you want to check it out, the link is in the description so you can download and try it for yourself. And the best part is, there is a free program for students that is provided by Altium called Altium Student Lab. And with this Altium Student Lab, you can get free access to Altium Designer and Altium 365 and follow their courses from beginner to advanced level. In the end, you will earn a certificate recognized by top industries in India. You can easily access this with your school or university email. Link is in the description. 
If you like to play around with math, simulations and control systems, then in the field of robotics, MATLAB will be your best friend. MATLAB is widely used in robotics for modeling, simulations and algorithm development. Engineers use it to test robotics behavior before building the actual hardware. It's perfect for making self-driving cars, robotic arms and AI-based robots. With MATLAB, you can easily visualize data, simulate complex systems and fine-tune algorithms. It's especially popular in academia and research labs where precision and experimentation are key. While it's not often used for real-time control, it's excellent for prototyping and testing new ideas. Now, if you're a beginner and want something simple and fun, Scratch would be a good start. Scratch is a visual programming language where you can simply click, drag and drop code blocks in order to create robotics action. It's perfect for kids and beginners to understand the basics of logics and robotics programming before moving on to advanced languages. Many educational robots like Lego Mindstorms and Embo support Scratch or similar block-based environments. It's a fun and interactive way to get your hands on basic programming concepts without worrying about syntax. Once you understand the logic, transitioning to Python or C++ would be much, much easier for you. And guys, this is the most important part. Each of these languages has its strength and weakness, and the best one depends on what type of robotics project you want to work on. If you are a beginner, start with Python or Scratch. If you want real-time performance, go for C++. And if you love simulations and data analysis, MATLAB is a great choice. So, these are the top 5 programming languages for robotics. Python, C++, Java, MATLAB, and Scratch. If you have any doubts, make sure you ask it in the comments down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel and give this video a like.